Hello, thank you for joining us. You've got me this week. If you saw Nikki's video last week, you'll know that we're talking about a bit in the Bible called the Beatitudes for the next few weeks. And if you didn't see Nikki's last week, the good thing about doing it online is you can always go back and watch it before you watch me. But, assuming you have seen it, you'll know that it's um, a part where Jesus talks to his followers and it's a bit like a talk in church, but we're going to take it a little bit at a time. This week we're looking at verse 3 in Matthew 5, and it says, Happy are those who know they are spiritually poor. The kingdom of heaven belongs to them. Now, we need to think about what spiritually poor means. And one way of thinking of it is like this. When you're a baby, You can't really do a lot for yourself, but as you get older, you learn to do some things by yourself. Getting dressed, or using the toilet. Don't think we'll film that one. But as you get older, you can do more things by yourself. You can cook, clean, you can get a job maybe and uh, earn some money. And if you've got a job and you've got some money, you can buy yourself food and um, somewhere to live. And you can get a car or you can afford to go on the bus or the train to get where you want to go. But people who are poor, who don't have as much money, they're going to need help with those things. So in this country, we have the government help people and they help them to have enough money to buy food and to have somewhere to live. Not always to have all the nice things that some other people have, but hopefully enough to, to get by. And it's like this with God. Poor in spirit just means that we can't help ourselves. We need some other help to be where we need to be. And the version of the Bible I read says those who know they are poor in spirit in this verse and that's because we're all poor in spirit really when it comes to the things of God we can't really help ourselves very much because we're not as good as God and it doesn't matter how hard we try and how much we work at it we're never going to be but those who know that they're not good enough to get into heaven can ask Jesus to help and that's the great thing because when we ask Jesus to help he's good enough to get us into heaven so, what can we learn from this verse? Well, the people who think they're better than everyone else, they're not the sort of people God's looking for, really. The people who know they're not perfect, who know they need Jesus to help them, those who want to be the best they can, but know they're not doing quite enough yet. It's the people who rely on him. That's the sort of people God wants to be part of his family. Let's say a prayer. Thank you, God that we don't have to be perfect for you to love us. Thank you that you've already done everything we need to be part of your family. Help us to act more like your children and less like we've got it all figured out for ourselves. Amen. Have a good week and we'll see you next time.